As part of efforts towards Breast Cancer Preparation Month, MIA, the Breast Initiative, is organizing a campaign to help prevent breast cancer, according to its founder, Joseph Nano. He says this initiative concentrates on mobilizing men to sensitize their partners when it comes to breast cancer. Cancer is the most prevalent cancer among women worldwide and is diagnosed on about 2.1 million women the world over. As part of measures to help curb such a menace is the reason why Baby Kafu Foundation has organized a program that Mia the Breast Campaign to prevent the challenge, especially through men. According to its founder, Joseph Nano, men involvement is critical to creating awareness and help prevent the disease. Yes, Going around the breast at least once a week and empower them, their hands, clearly that the concern about the breast, once you are playing around it, there's a potential that there may be a lamp for something. When you train the men and they have this, like a person with disability services, certain trainings are unconscious. The moment something happens, it activates certain things. So if a man is empowered, and he's even doing the thing. The moment there's a small, he'll be able to do what? Detect it. And that is the core reason for me and the rest. We want to empower the hands of men. And ensure that in Ghana, starting from January or from October to the next October, every week one woman is being what? Examined. Survivor of the disease, Suzanne Malik, also expressed how she survived and how it matters most for people, especially men, to be involved in this campaign. You are going to lose your breast, especially those who don't have relationships, who are now hunting. It takes a lot to sight women to understand, and most of them are dead because. They just can't bear. Saturday we buried one. This Saturday we buried another. From 2019 to today, I've lost 72 women. And these are women I have met like this and spoken to, visited, supported. So the, the rate at which it's killing people, even the hospitals do not have records. Because there are people at the church houses where they give them this water, which is not curing them. So you men, as you are taking up the responsibility, these things should be your concern, otherwise the advocacy will be just zero.